G'day, my name's Chris, and this is my review of Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas, superior ocean view, state room, with private balcony. In this review, I'm gonna detail three things I loved about this room, and one I didn't so much. So hang around, and let's get into the review. At 198 square feet with 55 foot square balcony, this room can comfortably accommodate three people, three adults, up to maybe four, might get a bit squeezy though. And it does this with two twin beds which can be pushed together to make a king, and as well as the sofa bed which converts to a queen. With cupboards either side of the bed, there's plenty of hanging space for both long items as well as short ones. Plenty of coat hangers to spare, as well as space to put foldable clothes, plenty of drawers for those unmentionables, and a safe. Now the safe is uh, only small, got a pin code, nice. You can put like wallet, mobile phone, small items in there, but it definitely won't fit a laptop. With individual climate control, the room was neither hot nor cold, you could get it just right. And with the combination of the pillows, blankets, and the bed, I found it to be a very comfortable stay and a nice sleep. As you walk in on the room, to the left there's a TV which can't pull out, it's like a 46 inch uh, television, very limited TV stations, uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's best you actually get out on the ship and find your own fun that way. Even further along the room, there's a desk with PowerPoints, both American and European, as well as two USB outputs. Now it should be noted here that if you are from Australia or from Europe, most of your devices that you have actually run on 220 to 240 volts. So get yourself one of these, that's a European plug. Don't get an American plug because they operate at 110 volts. So if you're charging a laptop, say, it's gonna take you twice as long compared to the European equivalent. And don't forget, do not bring any power boards. They'll confiscate them when you're trying to board and you might be able to get them back later. I'm not very sure about that. There's a fridge with a lock-up pin, just in case you've got naughty kids. The bathroom features an okay sized shower with Perspex glass. The shower head has got three different modes, nice water pressure. There's a three-in-one shampoo, body soap and conditioner. So top tip, bring your own shampoo and conditioner. The soap otherwise smells quite nice. There's a little ped pedal stool there for your foot to go on to if you need to shave your leg stain. Uh, nice, beautiful brown tones, clean, modern looking, shelves to put things into, and a nice little night light at, when the lights are out. So if you've got young kids and maybe it's yourself and you're a bit photophobic, you can get into the bathroom without actually starting yourself. Okay, getting to the end of this review, here's the three things I love. Now, first and foremost, this is a balcony state room. And it's the first time I've ever actually had a balcony and being on a trip to New Zealand, I thought this is the trip to do it on. Okay, so if you're going somewhere where you basically got port days in general um, and the scenery at those ports is not exactly spectacular, let's say you're in actually commercial wharf area, I wouldn't bother. But on this one, I knew we'd be in the Milford Sound as well as Dusky Sound and Doubtful Sound. I really wanted the balcony so we could have our own private space to get away from everyone else and just enjoy the majesty that we had. It was beautiful and to not have to share that with anybody and get out there even on the sea days where you could just have that little bit of extra room that you don't always get when you have, let's say, a stateroom with just a window or an internal stateroom. It should be noted that with the balcony state door, there's also a child safety lock, just in case you've got some kids who you're a bit worried about. And then, it's double glazed windows, it's amazing how well it actually blocks out the sound. The second thing I like about this room, and this is cabin 9172 by the way, is its proximity to the lifts. Now it's about 10 minutes away, even though on the map it looks closer, it was sufficiently far that you could hear the lifts, you could hear the chime noises, and very quickly you could get to parts of the ship like the 16th level to the fitness center, the 14th level to the solarium, which I'll do a video on that real soon. It's just a beautiful stunning place. And overall, um, I think location wise, definitely right on the money. And the third and final thing was that I enjoyed the space of the room. Okay, the last voyage I went on with my friend, 
We had an internal stateroom and that was on Voyage of the Seas. You can watch that review just here, where the, which side it's on. And uh, I found that internal stateroom just to be a bit small. This size was great for three people, if not four, but with the sofa bed out, you can see here there's very little space between where the drawers are and where the bed is. So ask your stateroom attendant to please put the bed away during the daytime hours so that you can enjoy the room to its maximum. Otherwise, it does get a bit squishy and tiring having to work your way around it. Top tip, you can store your bags underneath your beds. So don't be worried about carting too much on because there's no luggage limit to going on a ship. So if you want to bring three, four, five, six, however many bags you want to, you can. It's just, you know, bring them on the airplane, I guess, maybe, perhaps, maybe, not, oh, no. Anyhow, so hope you found this review enjoyable. Was that three things? I think it was. So if you haven't done so already, do me a huge one. Subscribe, share this on your socials, um, and I'll put another video up real soon on the version of the seas.